All right, guys, here we have a video to show you how to refill a HP 305 in cartridge. Um, it's one of the newest ones as of January 2021, and it's a very simple cartridge to fill. I'll just show you around the cartridge first. So it says here intended for single use only. That means that HP wants you to buy this cartridge, use it and put it in the bin, but you can refill it. Underneath this black dot, there's like um, a hole and the label covers a hole and the needle will literally just pierce through. You don't have to drill it. You don't have to take off the, the label to find a hole. And that is where it is. I've seen videos where people are taking off labels. They're drilling holes. There's just no need to. There's already a hole under there from the first manufacturing process and it's just covered. Um, so this part of the cartridge is called the print head. So that's where your ink comes out when you're printing. Um, and what I would advise doing when you first go to refill your cartridge is to give that a bit of a rub because any dry ink will affect the um, take, affect the quality of the cartridge print um, refilling. So when you're refilling the cartridge, just don't take the cartridge out of your printer until you're actually ready to refill um because any amount of time really is it's going to start drying out definitely don't leave it for a long period and if you have to take it out i would wrap it in cling film or something um if you're transporting it anywhere for example so here we have um the the front of the cartridge again so we're going to inject where that black dot is um, when you buy the kit, you get a little bottle of ink. There's 30 mils in there, which is enough to refill this 10 times because it takes 3 mils of ink. You get this is the priming tool, which is a really clever bit of kit and very important and makes a difference between successful refilling process and not. You get a couple of syringes and a needle. So I have already refilled a couple of needles just to save you watching too, this video for too long. So what we do is we pop our cartridge in there um there's one stage as well i'd advise doing so when you get to this stage you put this into this it should be nice and level when you're in there so it's then you know it's in you pop one of the syringes that you got in here and what we're doing is we're sucking out any ink that might be still left in the cartridge after you've used it because ideally we want it to be empty we don't want any ink left in there because by the time we go to put in three mils of ink it's going to overflow so we make sure it's absolutely empty so it's sucked down there's nothing coming out of this so it's absolutely empty but don't be surprised if a little bit comes out and even if a little bit comes out you know even if it's just a bit take it out and you know you can easily rinse this this um syringe under the tap or you know just suck up a bit of water and use it again so these are all reusable so we have these two needles um this one has got a, a shorter needle in so you don't have to worry about how far you put it down because you don't want to put the needle down any further than about half ways and that helps with the with how you put the ink in you want the ink to go into the middle of the sponge and if you can't go down too far so down here at this part of the cartridge there's a filter so the reason we only go down about half ways is because we don't want to damage the filter because if you damage the filter it'll allow too much ink in and it won't work right so this is the the first one so i've got about a one and a half mils in here so i'm going to just inject that nice and steady you might get a little bit of bubble oh, don't worry about that in the slightest a little, that's just a little bit of air because the cartridge is empty and you're forcing liquid in right so that's the first one so we'll just give that a quick dab right so this is a longer needle this is just show you if you have a longer needle or you're given a longer needle you just again be careful you only want to go halfway so just judge it you're only going to put the the needle in halfway so you stop putting it in around about where this finger is that finger there so what we do is we're going to put it in about halfway there you go and again just nice and steady
yeah just take your time there's no rush whatsoever and you can even just wait a second you know when you get to that stage just you're given the you're given the cartridge every chance to suck up the ink this these syringes or these sponges sorry are not like your everyday um sponge that you get at home they're they're very hard wearing so they're harder to get to soak up the ink so okay there you go so that's had the full amount and just obviously be careful with these these needles so i always put back on the the sheet and put back on that one Right. you'll only have one when you buy the kit but you only need one and again that all helps with the refilling because what's happening is you're you're sucking up the ink you've put in one and a half mils of ink and then you're getting more ink out of the bottle and what's that doing is giving the, the cartridge a chance to soak up the ink so now we have all the ink in and we take it out of this too and as you can see it's not overfilled because there's no ink coming out there so we put it back in again and we do the stage that we did at the start again so we're going to prime the cartridge this time so we're going to try and suck out a bit and the reason we're doing this is the ink is the ink is in this or in this, this sponge but we want to try and draw it down to the filter that i was telling you about earlier so what we do is we suck out just a tiny bit. Right. Okay. So I've now got the ink just to the bottom here. I don't want to really see any ink here because I've only put three mils in. But I know that by pushing in that amount of pressure, um, there's the ink is going to be at the printhead. So there's no need to to worry about it, whether you have ink in here or you don't. You don't be surprised if you see a little bit of ink. Right. So that is your, your ink cartridge refilled. You can put that straight back into your printer. And, um, you know, if for any reason you put it in the printer and it's not quite printing correctly, you know, you might have a few lines in it. Just try and do a couple of print head cleans with your printer, which is perfectly normal to do. You know, sometimes you even put in a new cartridge and you'll have to do that. And um, just remember that when you've refilled an ink cartridge, the printer will say that it's low on ink. So don't worry about that in the slightest. It's perfectly normal and it will work perfectly well. And like I said, just, just imagine with a tiny bottle like this, you can refill your ink cartridge 10 times. Thank you very much.